Shinkafi later. Do you understand me? I need Shinkafi! Do you have to help me? I have to find out who poisoned his mind against me. You have to find out why he threw me out of the office. Okay, 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 fine. I'll take you to the doctor and then you see Shinkafi. Alright? Take me to the doctor. I'm going to help you. Is she going to be all right, Doctor? Absolutely. We hope so. For now, we can just um, actually say what is wrong with her. Though, we've run various tests. Is she pregnant or HIV positive? No, 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 no. To be honest with you, if she is, it would have been better. But... As of now, I can't just say actually what is wrong with her. All we need to do is um, observe her and uh, let her have some rest. Okay? Excuse me. She was the one that called me. How long have I been here? Mm. Oh? Not long enough just to get well. <coughs> now go back to your rest. Look, I can't get well here. I need to go home. Huh? Mm. No, you can't go home. Huh? Because we are unconscious when we are rushed in here. Now I am conscious. <coughs> Sorry. 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 Sorry, I'll be back. Every time. Please. 
Just, I need a phone. A phone? I need to talk to Chief. Uh, Evita, please slow down, please. Mm -hmm. You are ill and you need to get well first. Please. Not at the possibility of losing Chief. Oh, God, he's my life. Evita is around or not? That one. She won't be around in a long time. What do you mean by that? She's in the hospital. What for? Well, maybe HIV. All the countless abortions she has had. Oh, come on. You should talk good about your friend. I'm a truthful person, and the fact that she's my friend doesn't mean I will not say the truth about her. Mm. Well, on that, I think I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Mm -hmm. What is it? We'll spend tonight in the most expensive hotel in town. And after that, you can stay all month long. The whole month? Yes. To mean what? Body massage, sauna, mm. swimming pool, breakfast in bed, and all the treat the queen deserves while I'm on here.
have I been asleep? Long enough to have completed and realized your ecstasy. What are you doing? What does it look like? We were meant to spend the whole night together. Yes. But I just got an urgent message from my clearing agent. I again wanted to see you. Sweetheart. You know, I need to get my own place. Yeah. I mean, I can go back to Evita's house after all this. Evita does not exist anymore. She now belongs to the dustbin of history. Now, I have a guest house in the island. It's a three bedroom duplex. You are the new occupant. What? Mm. A three-bedroom duplex. That's it. Oh my god. Welcome to the big league, girl. <laughs> thank you. No, I should be thanking you for bringing happiness into my life. You deserve everything. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Come here. I got to run now. I'm back in the morning. Felicia, the word of God says, if you should have faith as small as the mustard seed, and you shall say to this mountain, he that will and the mountain shall oh, yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. So, in the name of Jesus, with the little faith you have, whatsoever yes. this evening we are coming against with the power in the word of God, the power in the blood of Jesus, and the power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, You're back. Welcome back. Please join us. Join you to do what? Who are these rascals? They are from the Living Spring Bible Evangelical Ministry. What's their mission in my house? We are praying with your wife in seeking the face of God over her problem and receiving the God's blessing meant for this family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord. We give you thanks, Lord. Yes. Amen. Now, all of you, get out of my house. Now, this minute. But, honey, you can't do that now. They're here for our own good. Now, you listen. I know bishops. I know archbishops. I know knights. 
if I need a miracle, I can employ any of them for two months and pay for it. I can afford it. Now, all of you, get out of my house this minute. The Bible says that. Don't tell me what the Bible says. I know what the Bible says. You don't even know what the Bible says. Now, get out. Um, Sister Felicia, the grace of God will see you through. Amen. And I say control. Amen. 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 Say control. Amen. Just did that. I can't believe you just chased the man of God away from my home. Who oh, do you call man of God? Don't bring actors to my house. Now you go upstairs.
have to run a brain scan, then put on a dialysis. Dialysis? But there was nothing wrong with her kidney, doctor. There is none after the test. Apart from that, her brain neurons are getting weaker by the day. Doctor, first it was typhoid, then malaria parasite, and all sorts of illnesses that keep changing. Doctor, what exactly is wrong with her? Beats me. It's a mystery to me too. How her health is failing. But I'm assuring you, we're doing our best. <coughs> Doctor, I'm, I'm saying this because we're running out of funds to pursue her treatment. <sighs> um, about 600,000 Naira will be the net this time. What? That's close to a million. Yes. And I think her health and her being alive is more important. Excuse me. the last 25,000 from your account. Uh, dispose of things in the house. I've sold everything of good value. There's nothing left except the car. Where is the only thing you've got left? The car is only useful to me if I'm alive and driving it. Every time I not go home to your village, no, no. <laughs> look, they might have a cure to this mysterious illness. No. <laughs> no. No. You would not be. I need to go and see Chief for me. Oh. You want to crawl back to Chief? Evelyn, tell them that my life depends on the help that they can give me, no matter how little. Tell them I'm ill. I'm in the hospital dying. I have no one else to talk to, Evelyn. I have no one else. No, no. My answer is still no. You see, business has been so bad. And moreover, I am now more committed to my wife than, than ever. I don't want to have anything to do with Evita anymore. 
she's dying. She's even about to sell the car you gave her as a birthday present to treat herself. She needs you. My wife needs me. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. I wish I had a very quick recovery. Rita wanted to do this without disturbing anybody. She sold virtually everything she has. Please help her. Oh, come on, come on. Let's not go into that business. Now, listen to me. I don't know how my network allowed you in here, but it's not going to happen again. I'm done with you. I'll get out. She came to tell me about a ghost called Evita. Did she say something about Evita's car? Yes. They want to sell the car to treat her or to organize a funeral for her. I don't know which. Come on, come on. Nemesis. Oh. Be careful what you do. Nemesis. You know what? Hmm? You're my last first time. Evita so much and yes she doesn't do that for you. If you had gotten me close to tea by now I'm sure you would have gotten yourself a job. Naomi, if someone was to do the same thing to you, how would you feel? Look, enough, enough of all that moral lessons. Anyway, Evita is my friend and I will not betray her. She's very ill, you know. <laughs> What did they do that girl, sir? My sister, I don't know. See, I was at the hospital yesterday and I could not believe what my eyes saw. Are you sure she's not um, HIV positive? I don't know. See, even the doctors could not you know, actually see what was wrong with her. She, she's, her hair is falling off. She has this skin discoloration. In fact, she looks like she was roasted alive. Who knows what she has done? Or perhaps it could be a spiritual problem, you know, like all this um, witches and wizards. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Tell her to go home and take care of herself before she dies here trying to save God Chief. Hey! Now me. Tell her to go home and create space for people that are, are, are well. Now what for you?
Are you the one buying the car? Well, are you the one selling the car? Ashanti, if, if you can afford to buy this car, why not give Evita the money? She's your friend. Evelyn, I prefer you keep your mouth shut and put it in your handbag where it belongs, okay? Hey, 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 hey! No need to get nasty with me. After all, I'm not in the man snatching business as you are. I see. Business has been done, and um, I believe the car is sold. Give Evita my regards. Also, let her know who bought the car. Let her know that the car will be used to take my dog to the vet. Okay? Hercules! Madam. You can keep it. I don't have use for it. I have enough as you can see. What? Something we need to talk about. I have business for you. Things of life so much. 
Isn't that why we're called the leader? Mm. Mm. Uh, Maybe a chase. I can't wait. <laughs> Is that the question you ask me? What are you doing with this slot? Did you just call me a slot? Shut up, Ashanti. You think you left me in the hospital to go and chase my man? Ash, Ash. I'm going back to the car. This place is getting too loud for my drums. Why? Why, Ashanti? What is this? It's about my life, Evita. Your life. You don't have a life. I am your life. You owe your very existence to me. I owe you nothing. Nothing. You don't tell me what you owe me, young lady. I took you out of the gutters. I clothed and fed you. I gave you shelter in my home. And you turn around and stab me in the back. You and I know I've paid you everything I owe you. Down to the last cobble. How long, Evita? For how long did I toil as a club girl, sleeping with any man at whistles, and at the end of the day, the money goes to you? How long? That money can never equal how much I spent on you and your mother in the village. Don't you dare. Don't you dare bring my mother into this, you bitch. You call me a bitch? Leave me, Evelyn. This is Evita you're talking. Oh, I see. This is because I'm ill, right? Because I'm ill. Wait. Evita, you think my life is worth peanuts, right? You are wrong. So wrong. I need the girl just as much as you do. You stay away from Shinkafi. Uh uh. No. Shinkafi is the gold. And I want the gold. So dead! Says who? <laughs> you can barely stand on your feet. It's been nice hanging with you. You are so dead, Ashanti! You are so dead! No, you are so
Excuse me, excuse me, customers. We are so sorry. We're about to close now, please. Meaning what? Please. What are you going to? People can come back maybe in two hours' time. Please, please. please. So I'm clear. so sorry. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Please. Don't go clear.
Hercules. Hercules flying up here. I need to take something. At least take some water. You refuse to eat, you won't, you won't take anything. You have to keep up your strength. It'll be good to shame when you finally recover. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Don't talk like this. Be positive. Blinded by my quest and greed. I didn't. I didn't hear God's voice. What nightmares are you talking about? Most nights. It's in coffee. Appeared in my dreams, half human, half snake. Holy Ghost fire. That's a bad thing. I want to go home. I want to die. Well, you know, the doctor said we, we shouldn't. I want to die in my parents' home. I regret that. When I had money, I didn't take care of them. God forgive me.
I, I, yes, I do expect you guys to reach me. Uh, unless I get to the office, I cannot uh, pass the documents. Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving. Okay. Send it to me by fax. goes to according to Evita before her death uh, the blue tip supermarket the crow nightclub um, the gnome stores he takes light walkouts at the stadium on Saturday mornings and the game of tennis in the evening it looks splendid Go get Shinkafi. Ashanti must commit suicide at the end of this. Well, girlfriend, for me, it's nothing but just business. Shinkafi, here I come. I'll see you soon, though. Good luck, girl. Thank you. Hello? Don't I know you? I don't know, you tell me. Um, are the tribe exhibition center in Japan? That far? I don't think so. Okay, um, in Europe? I make all my money here, I don't go there. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I got it now. Um, the other had a boutique, you know, you bought me something. Ah, was that you? Sure, it was me. <laughs> oh, so we met again? Yeah. I'm sorry, I never really had the chance to say thank you. It's alright, I already know you were grateful. <laughs> of course I was grateful, <laughs> very, very grateful. Oh, I see your wife is around the corner. I'll see you soon. I remember the other day at the boutique where we were hanging out baby shopping. She just stopped by to say hello, that's all. Baby 
rosy at first, but the end is a road to death. Yeah. 
Oh, can't see. I never know when I'm gonna see you. Oh, yeah. 